Mr. Khan, welcome back to Craven Cottage. Um, I think before we, we talk about anything, I mean, look at this. I mean, you forget, I, I've, I've only been up here once before. Yeah. And at the time it took my breath away, but you forget just how stunning the view of London is. You were just saying, and I, I, I think I completely agree, it might be the best view of London only because, you know, like I said, when you're up the Shard or on the London Eye, you can't see those things, you know? But you can see it all from here. Absolutely. That was my initial reaction when we came up here, you know, hard to believe more than a year ago when we're allowed to come up here. I looked at that view and I said, oh my God, you know, I've been coming to London for half a century or more. Yeah. And I've never seen London this way. Yeah. I mean, you see it in the breath, the beauty, the skyline. And uh, I mean, it's a spectacular view, kind of really, really takes your, takes your breath away. I, re I mean, I've been coming to, to Fulham for 30 years and I've never seen anything like this. Absolutely. You forget it's just over there, you yeah, know, it's, absolutely. it's unbelievable, it really yeah. is beautiful. Um, first up, I mean, it, you weren't here too long ago, so it must be nice to be back so soon after your last visit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's great. But you see the progress, obviously, and yeah. uh, I think here and at Montsford Park. Yeah. So it's uh, great to see uh, Marco and Alistair today. And obviously you were at Montsford Park earlier. I know we've made a couple of uh, uh, Premier League acquisitions already. Very yeah. exciting. Yeah. Uh, Pereira and Paulinha yeah. um, uh, both joined the club. Yeah. Really exciting signings. Yeah. Um, uh, have you had a chance to see them uh, warm up today? I, yes, I did. I was at uh, practice training sessions today and you know chatted with them and I think we have a couple of more that are waiting formalities to be announced so okay okay so, so uh, yeah. you've literally just jumped out and that was gonna be my next question is what can you tell us so you said but so before the start of the season we can perhaps expect a, a few more through the door and yeah I think uh, you know our goal is to strengthen in any way we can uh, and do it uh, obviously the key constraint we have is fair play rules uh, so we want to comply with those but other than that uh, you know we'll have a couple of more really high quality players to be announced in the near future and then we have more in the pipeline that's very exciting as, as okay. a Fulham fan that's yeah. uh, that's fantastic news yeah uh, now when you first appointed Marco Silva um, you talked that, you know of his ambition um, his desire uh, to win and boy did we see that I mean what an incredible season we we had last season we, we were scoring for fun, breaking records. Uh, have you spoken much to him prior to the new season starting? Yeah, uh, I have. Obviously, I saw him at the conclusion of the season, and then I've seen him a few times since then, including today, obviously. Spent uh, some time with him one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, um, you know, I mean, he is really, uh, uh, you know, serious, hell-bent mm. on, uh, you know, doing well in the Premier League. So obviously we've, uh, you know, we've we've been up and down a couple of times, been in the Premier League yeah, a couple of times, times yeah. three times, uh, and uh, there was me pretending like I didn't know. Yeah, we've been up and down. You know, it's, it's, it's obviously a very, very tough league to stay in. You know, we, we've seen that firsthand. Um, but something feels a little bit different. There certainly feels like there's a, a real optimism going in this time. Would you say that's fair to say? I think it's fair to say, and I think, you know, one of the highlights of the day for me was on the training ground uh, you know I mean besides saying hello talking to half a dozen players one-on-one -on -one, what do they think where are we and uh, you know especially uh, some of the veterans you know they feel like they've been here a while that we really got something special here yeah. talent the leadership and uh, you know they feel good yeah, it definitely does. And feel. I mean, obviously for me, I feel good. I see uh, really the results, know some of the people, but uh, uh, so uh, uh, definitely, I mean, we see that. Yeah, it's, it certainly feels uh, th 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 there's something different in the air. There's, there's an optimism, you know, going up as champions maybe, but also Marco Silva, you know, having Premier League experience and, and getting us playing such a, a beautiful style of football. Uh, it's very, very exciting. As we stand here as well right now, uh, marks nine years, congratulations, since you yeah. took over as, as chairman yeah. uh, of, uh, of Fulham Football Club. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit, you know, about, about you know, your time here, your favorite, yeah. your favorite moments. I know there's been highs and lows, yeah. um, but tell us about some of your favorite moments and also what you're looking forward to uh, in your 10th season. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, I think, um, it, you know, obviously the joy, <laughs> obviously of promotion, the thrill, and, uh, you know, the misery of relegation, okay? Uh, the fact is that, that is about. life, yeah. and uh, obviously the most thrilling season is the one that just concluded. Yeah. Uh, you know, winning uh, the championship and then also setting records. Mm. Uh, thinking about uh, the second leg of the Derby game, the first time we got promoted, you know, uh, two nothing. So I think the Luton game here, those are really, you know, some of the things you kind of look back at the electricity of the crowd. Yeah. And that, uh, you know, I'm really counting on our supporters, our fans to provide that, mm. you know, in the Premier League because they are uh, the 12th person, obviously, on the pitch. Yeah, yeah and, so. they, and they were particularly fantastic last season. Yeah. They, were, they were so, yeah. so good. And what's more exciting is we can get even more of them yeah. this season in yeah. the stand. I think, um, you know, as we stand here yeah. in the Riverside, um, a couple of weeks to go now till our final um, pre-season uh, friendly Villarreal. Villarreal. And we are going to have uh, the bottom half of the Riverside yeah. stand um, packed out, which is, you know, wonderful. I mean, obviously this has gone through a few stages. We've had COVID, it's delayed um, progress uh, at particular points. How's it all looking? Well, uh, even more spectacular than what I was expecting, mm. okay? Uh, you've got to remember after I, uh, you know, arrived as chairman, there were plans that existed. And really, as we got into it, it was like, you know, they're not ambitious enough. Uh, and how do we, one of the key blessings for Fulham Football Club is the geography. Mm. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful setting in a great neighborhood right on the Thames. So how do you maximize it? And so, you know, we revised the plans and it had to be architecturally something modern, contemporarily, uh, you know, glass juxtaposed over something super traditional. and. And then, you know, as it's progressed, I mean, we've refined and made it better. And then we were talking about the view. I mean, that was really, wow. You know, yeah. We hit the, the you know, treasure yeah. uh, on the view. And then when COVID hit, how do we respond to it? I think the garden upstairs, you know, with the pergolas and what have you. Um, you want outdoor space yeah. and uh, wellness for the community, I think, adding the pool and the spa and all those amenities, I think. Uh, so it's really turned out spectacular. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It, it really is. And, and, it, and like you said, it, it kind of sits perfectly with the other three stands. You know, there's something about the, the new with the traditional just, just works beautifully. Um, Villarreal, like I said, in, in a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, let's, let's, uh, there's no point avoiding it now. Yeah. We have got Liverpool after that. There's yeah. no easy first game in the yeah. Premier League. Yeah. Um, how do you feel, Liverpool? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a massive game to kickstart Absolutely. the Premier League. You know, you don't get to choose. You don't, okay? sadly. You, uh, don't. You, you don't get to choose. I mean, you have to confront it. But uh, again, I think uh, you look at two years ago, we did okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> against Liverpool. So uh, hopefully I'm hoping for a repeat performance, okay? Uh, but it is what it is. It's, I mean, there's a reason Premier League is the Super League of the world. It's, uh, I think, a relative amount of competitive balance. Uh, and, uh, you know, every game is tough. So, um, you know, it, so we let the league office obviously decide what the schedule is. And, you know, you play to it. And let's see if we can fast forward to May next season. What would be your hopes for uh, well, the next season in the Premier League? My hope, um, um, you know, is like every Fulham supporter, that our goal is we want to stay up. And I think everything that we did here, we are a small but ambitious club yeah. that has to comply with the fair play um, uh, regulations. So we've got to generate revenue and then invest it in the club. So, uh, you know, my goal is that uh, uh, this stand, you know, will be close to being opening up, generating the revenue that we can invest back in the squad and become, you know, permanent uh, resident of Premier League. I mean, that's our goal and long term. And it is now, this stand is now part of uh, the, the, the River Thames 
you know, the, the, an, it's an icon. On it's the a, it's it's iconic. Beautiful. It looks incredible. It looks incredible. So it's iconic, and I think uh, obviously I'm biased, but if I said this is the most beautiful football stadium on the planet, I think few people would disagree. I okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I'd agree with you. Right okay, there. and you don't have to be a Fulham fan no. to agree with it. I think uh, it's just the setting on the river, really. Um, you know, all the people who came together, really the community, uh, uh, the elected officials, the architects, designers, leadership of Fulham, uh, to really make this happen, I think it's going to serve, you know, generations long after certainly I'm gone. And with this, you know, with the perfect setting. Couldn't agree more. Well, yeah. on that note, Mr. Khan, always a pleasure. Okay. And uh, enjoy the rest of your stay here at okay. Fulham. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you back soon. And yes, hopefully absolutely. And May next season, we'll be talking of all the wonderful moments that happened Absolutely. in the coming seasons. Yes, that's a goal. Thank you so much. Thank you.